G'day. Today we're doing a transmission service on a DSG 7 speed VW Golf 2009 model and it's got the 1.4 litre. Now to fill these you've got to remove your air box and you actually fill them through the breather uh, caps are. There's, there's two different sections you've got the the mechatronic component of the transmission and you've got the gear component. So on the OAM or DQ200 DSG transmissions you've got a separate diff oil and transmission oil. So we're going to do a service on both. So this one's just for your gear oil, transmission DSG oil. 10 mil Allen key. Now these plugs are 22 mil by 1.5 mil pitch. You can put a magnetic plug on there. Just make sure that the magnet's not running very close to the any gears or anything that's moving in there otherwise it can magnetize those gears and we've got the mechatronic oil which is at the front here now recommend it that you use the Volkswagen G004 triple O M2 for the mechatronic oil and for the rear the gearbox part of the transmission or the rear plug one that you fill at the back of the transmission use this one and or any equivalent recommended ones now to fill these they claim that they're sealed for life or just a one fill but sometimes you get oil leaks and things like that so you're going to have to refill it the rear one, you fill through, there's a little breather plug. You'll need a 10 mil hose and a funnel. And there's no oil level check, so you need to do a precise fill. On the rear, it's 1.7 litres, exactly. You want to make sure you don't spill any. Otherwise, you've got to do the whole process again. And on the front, on the mechatronic part, you'll see there's a little breather cap there you can pull that off um, you need to pull this cable off just to gain access to it and it's a very slow fill procedure and the rear one is that little plug there you see that you can see I've just popped that breather off there see that clean black part and that's, that's that little cap there, just pushes on. So you'll slide your little hose on there and just fill it with a funnel. So there we go, we've got the hose where the breather cap is and we've got our funnel up here. And we've got our 1.7 litres precisely measured in there. Now it's just a matter of very slowly pouring it in. Don't overfill it because it will get a, uh, a back pressure thing because there's no breather. It's actually going in through the breather. So you've got to go in very slowly trickling it in. Now you want to do a very, very thin stream. Otherwise, it'll spurt back out at you. And the trick is to not trickle out more than probably half the diameter of the hose. Otherwise you will get it spurting back up at you and taking regular little breaks just to let anything that might have accumulated in the hose to just drain through. Okay, we've filled the gearbox part. We can put the cap back on now. There we go. Now the mechatronic breather you got to pull this out of the way, that little clip. 
and then sometimes you can just flex that cable up a little bit the one that goes to your starter motor just to pull that plug out make sure you blow everything around everywhere you don't want any muck falling in there and there's a cap there and that's the hole we're going to fill it through you can see that right under there they don't give you much room so we've got the last little bit there this idea of filling it like this is a lot easier than with a syringe because you've got that volume of air to burp burp the airlock if that makes sense so we've got this plastic tube that'll fit nice and snugly in that um, breather tube there and then we just put that in there and then I can just gently give it a squeeze like, like that and let it go and you'll see it burping back through the bottle a lot quicker and easier than doing it with a syringe if you end up spilling a lot of it instead of just a few drops you'll have to empty it out and start all over again just so you know that you've got the full one litre in there on this particular transmission And this is actually the third bottle that we're putting in there, but we measured an exact one litre into a jug and then filled it from there. If anyone comes up with any better idea how to fill these quicker and easier, I'd be very interested to hear it. Yeah, last little bit. Now to get this hose like that, you just heat it and actually stretch it and it'll narrow the diameter there just so you can make that sort of a hose. And that's a plastic hose, very difficult to do with the the clear rubber ones. Put the cap back on. And it should just click in. There we go. You heard the little click. You just give it a wriggle, make sure it doesn't pop off. And you double check that you haven't spilt any. Sometimes you don't see the stream of oil going everywhere. We've got a couple of drops there, but it's all good. I'll just blow that out. Now in the filter there, there's a little hole in the filter box, just so you can line up where that plug is there. And we've got a 5mm Allen key there. Okay. 
Just a little bit of a blow out. Filter. Don't forget to double check your work, make sure you've put everything back where it should be. Now there are probably many different ways of doing this same job, but this is the way I do it. Anyway, I hope that helps. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Any comments or suggestions or other hints on how to do the services on one of these, leave it in the comments below. And don't forget to throw us a beer if any of this information helps. Thank you for watching.